Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Wilbur and crew. We got a I new one here. Humanity between the stars. You sure do, Navigator Lady. Uh, so we got her last time. Very neat. How do I... I forgot it's not WASD. I always think it's WASD. Or wait, is it WASD? Why is my keyboard not working? One second. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. For some reason, my keyboard wasn't talking to my computer. But we are out of here. We're finally finished with this place. We got our new um, monster GF, <laughs> I guess, is what she is. But yeah, we're moving along. Here we are back at the ship. Oh, and she wants to say something to us. Welcome aboard, my lady. <laughs> Lord Captain, Lady Navigator, welcome aboard. The Sanctum Navis uh, has been prepared for the communion, communion ritual. But if the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first, your heart starts beating furiously. Your breaths become short and choppy and your fingertips tingle unpleasantly. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that uh, Vigdis is shiver, sl shivering slightly. The crew are glancing around in puzzlement, searching for the source of the sudden wave of unease. I first wish to speak with the rogue trader, leave us. Okay. Uh, of course. Uh, when you are ready to for the ritual, please let me know. Good day. Really just gonna okay, she's just going over there. She's not even fucking Okay, Cassia sweeps her pensive gaze over Vigdis. Vigdis then lowering her lashes slightly turns to you. What do you wish to speak speak about? After a few seconds hesitation, Cassia lets out a small exhale and rises raises her pointed chin. I have not yet thanked you for saving me on that station. My thoughts were clouded with so much mournful ash that when Theobald heart, when Theobard's heart stopped, but you acted honorably and did not exploit me for in my wretched position. And for that, I am immeasurably grateful. I am also deeply grateful that you saved my servants, letting especially my valet, Uwe, my valet Uwe. <laughs> <laughs> served me on the station for more than five years, much longer than anyone who preceded him. He knows how to properly attend to me during journeys through the immaterium. That's the warp, right? Yeah. And what to serve me for breakfast. <laughs> His presence envelops me in a cloak of amber. But now, Cassia throws back her shoulders, I am ready to go to the Sanctum Navis and perform the sacred rite. I require bushes, canvas, and the best paints. Oh, brushes. I'm fucking st I was like, bushes? What the fuck? You want some chicken, dude? <laughs> brushes, canvas, and the best paints you have on board, but no red. Uh, why are you asking me for this item? It's not, it's not time to indulge in paint tell me what the about the in what the ritual entails i doubt the uninitiated could understand the mysteries of navigation but i shall try to explain the essence of it i must merge my mind and will with the machine spirit of the ship so that i become one with the vessel cassia lifts a lock of hair from her the back of her neck revealing gilded implant ports Ooh, what are those augmentation a mechanical or electrical cybernetics substitute for biological limbs or organs uh after that i use her the house oresio i already fucking forgot how to pronounce all this shit ritual uh, which I loathe to relieve to you to free my mind of all errant thoughts and then 
Then it is time to open up my third eye and peer into the depths of the warp itself. Among the nightmarish visions, mirages, and creatures of the abyss, only the light of the Emperor is the truth that will lead me from star to star. Uh, from system to system. Oh, the light. The guiding thread. So fine it can slip one's grasp at any moment. Cassia unfurls her hand as though dropping something. But you have nothing to worry about. The navigators of House Orcelio, that's what I'm going with, Orcelio, uh, never lose their course. Uh, I shall have all the necessary supplies are delivered to the Sanctum Navis. Nods and thanks. Uh, I shall take my leave with you for the duration of the rite. I ask that you do not follow me. Few can survive my, the gaze of my warp eye when it is opened. Goddamn, cool shit. Ah, uh, who's next? Who comes to address me on my throne? Lord Captain, I will oversee the open channel between the Levy Navigator and the bridge, and may the Emperor's light shine. Light, help us all. Ah, here we are. The Voxcaster in the Sanctum Navis picks up a serration. A ceseration? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Of clo clothes, pious chanting, and a metallic clinking of implants. Then the serene voice of lady navigator breaks the silence initiating communication communion ritual come here uve the exalted ring of metal fear freed from its scabbard the low sob of a servant the rhythmic drip of liquid on canvas the faint whisper of the brush go footsteps hurry away I see violet vortexes lashing an ocean of a million flails <laughs> and umbral, uh, umber shadows spinning over the surface of a fiery dance, a storm rising f above foaming waters, armadas drowning in fog. The path from one end to the other cannot be seen. And here they are. Um, uh, and here beyond the walls of the, of glass, the daughter spoke, forspoken, forsaken, goddamn, fuck forspoken, that game sucked. <laughs> uh, the daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother, and the son's pale disc goes in tireless pursuit of her? No, of me. It's frozen rays that lie, lie that spring is here. Light is deadened. The great ruler is gone. The Voxmaster recoils at Cassie's words and accidentally snaps one of the fucking levers, the computer levers. The panel beneath her fingers emits sparks and the Vox cast falls silent. She quickly flips a series of switches and bows. Childly? I don't know. My abject apologies for cutting off the broadcast, Lord Captain. We I have never heard the warp speak through the navigator before. The connection is now restored. I that will not happen again. Cassia, are you all right in there? Soul shredding screams down the Vox transmission. The servants in the Sanctum Navis are howling and shrieking like wild beasts, moaning in pain, their throats raw from the strain. And then Sudden silence. The dull thud of dropping bodies proclaims their fate. It it appears the servants were part of the Lady Navigator's right, as it was for her predecessor. As it was for her predecessor. I will arrange for the bodies to be removed from the Sanctum Navis, Navis uh, after the ritual or what's left of them. Rogue Trader, I fear I have unfortunate news. Endless blackness has spread across the canvas, dividing what should be whole in two. Uh, and my sight cannot glimpse the light of the Emperor as clearly as before. 
I cannot turn around my brush. Oh, uh, I cannot turn around. My brush only draws me onward. The way is blocked. You hear a heavy exhale, rustling fabric and metallic clanking. By the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Uh, your vessel's temperament presented a challenge. Its cold steel grips grip does not allow me to breathe freely, even for a second. It was as if the depths of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. Now I will retreat to my chambers to recover my strength. Send for me if you have need for me. Lord Captain, congratulations on acquiring a navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There will be several matters that require your attention. First of all, I want to report on the condition of Iraq 5. Uh, I had opted to begin your visit with the Rykod system with a different destination. The station could not have been become critically unstable. Fortunately, the decision to immediately visit the and representatives of Nova, Navis Nobelite brought us precious, bought us precious time. We can either send our forces to disassemble the station and procure uh, technology technological components for our own vessel or attempt to save as many valuables as we can loot everything from jewel what is that what is that symbol profit factor will two let me see here anything profit factor profit factor is representation of the relative value of the rogue traders warrant of trade and what opportunities and resources it can call upon. So I think like profit factor is basically our money, but we we have so much money that it's like we own planets and shit. So it's like it's not necessarily a representation of our money, but it's like a, a kind of pseudo currency. Uh, yeah, let's loot everything. As you command, Lord Captain. Uh, with your permission, I would also ask, also like to remind you that we are still looking for an engine seer prime. Both the vessel and the machine spirits are in desperate need of oversight by the experienced tech priest. By an experienced te te tech priest. We are also missing some crew, and much more importantly, we have not located the Herrix, Henrix von Kallox the right hand of the Lord Inquisitor. Uh, now we know for sure he is not on Urek 5, but keep this in mind when making any future plans. Why is it always business with you? <laughs> uh, thank you, that'll be all for now. As it pleases you, Lord Captain. Okay. Visit the prison planetoid undiscovered void under identified void ship or we can go here new blood mechanical spirit keeper and land of Rikar's miners should we go here first let's go here first and then just scan it lord captain there's some commotion on the officer's deck the lady navigator has left her quarters and is currently in the ward room where uninitiated crew members are shunning her in terror perhaps you should find out what brought cassia to the deck okay i guess that's what we're doing then uh hello mm bow oh, lord captain my apologies i i did not notice your entrance uh, it pleases me to see you're adjusting life aboard the ship. Alas, the title alone is not enough to hold everyone's attention all the time. Point of the book in Cassie's hand. I see you're fond of reading. Uh, what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> I did not give you permission to leave the bridge. Uh, I see you're fond of reading. Oh, this. <laughs> I found this fascinating read on one of the shelves. And I must say, poems. it has caught my eye. It's every chapter is written in verse. I find it so 
beautiful and enrapturing. Yurak V had a vast archive of its own, of course. Although most of the works within had to do with scholarly disciplines of some sort or another. Only in my sparse moments of respite was I allowed to escape into the pages of more embellished works. Cassia gently, gently brushes off the dust cover uh, with her thin, clawed hand. <laughs> her eyes filled with longing after reminiscing about her lost home. Uh, took place on her mind, shaking you greatly. Are you well? One should not underestimate the navigators of House Orcelio, Lord Captain. Orcelio. Like a shawl of pale smoke, a faint malaise hangs upon my shoulders, but it will not be the slightest hindrance to my duty to humanity and my duty to you. Yes, he responds in reserved and pointed discourse, clearly intended to create a distance between you. Uh, your only attendant is from Yuri 5. Do my servants not measure up to your standards? Uh, I hope you have ample time to calm yourself and your powers. There are people on this ship who are far more impulsive and dangerous to others, and far less devoted to the God Emperor than a herald of the Navis Nobility. <laughs> But I did not need your words to see the shades of umber unease that whirl around your subjects whenever I am near. Were I not acquainted with such a reaction, I could have found their behavior in your question just now insulting. Okay, rude. It wasn't a question, first of all. Second of all, you're going to find this one way more insulting. No, no. It is not that at all, Lord Captain. It is just that... Uve is quite capable of carrying out his duties by himself. He is well accustomed to my... my whims and preferences. Perception test succeeded. Cassia cringes ever so slightly, adjusts the adornment on her forehead, then awkwardly hides her clawed fingers in the folds of her clothes. The unnatural appearance of navigators often becomes the topic of gossip among lowly servants and officers alike. It is unsurprising, then, that Cassia prefers the company of one who is used to how she looked. In 20 experience, continue. Lord Captain, would you kindly explain to me why you are pestering me with these questions? Inquiring about my mood and my needs? Showing an interest in the books I am enjoying? You are behaving as if you possessed a shred of fellow feeling for one such as I. I beg your pardon, Lord Captain. That was no way for a navigator to conduct herself. Okay, here we go. Got some options. I'm beginning to think, Lady Cassia, that the feelings I have for you are far more complicated than common sympathy. You have nothing to apologize for. Human emotions are natural, be they good or bad. And it's just natural to share them with others. Uh, quite right. So why do you ask? So why ask? So why would I? <laughs> so I would ask that you uh, mind what you say from now on. Jesus Christ. I uh, just had a fucking brain meltdown. Uh, it is indeed difficult for me to feel empathy for a mutant. However, the cruel's well-being hinges on that of its navigator. Uh, I believe this conversation has reached its natural conclusion. We're going to say it's a little more than common sympathy, eh, baby? Lord <laughs> Captain? I can't remember if she's... So many colorful sparks are flaring to life and dimming all around you. It is a veritable ocean of emotions. There are so many of them that I can barely see the pure white sincerity of your words. Is she iconoclast? Because I, uh, that if I'm going like if there are romance options in this game, which I'm assuming there are because it's an RPG. Uh, but whoever is iconoclast will probably is probably who I'll go for. Please forgive me. I cannot even understand myself right now. Your words and attention have reminded me of life on the station. 
of Theobald and Felek. I do not understand. They were merely the keepers of Urak V. So why do memories of those two make me feel a strange heaviness here? At the same time, I find myself overwhelmed with new excitement and anticipation. At last, I have set foot outside my familiar walls and into a world that I have only seen before in the pages of books. Your ship alone is a treasure trove of remarkable artifacts and curiosities. And just imagine the things that await beyond, but... My delight must seem childish to you, surely. In your heart, you must be finding all this quite amusing. Yes, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Point and laugh, everyone. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I would not dare make fun of a lady's feelings, especially not one who has captivated me since I first set eyes on her. Ooh, that's going in rough, bro. That's going in hard. Uh, I would rather we find amusement elsewhere, perhaps in the privacy of my chambers. Holy shit, that's going even harder. <laughs> what the hell are these options? Uh, what I find childish is your manner of addressing me as if I were your friend. You are mistaken belief that anyone here would be interested in hearing about your emotional turmoil. Jesus Christ. It's like, I'm gonna fuck you, or I'm gonna, like, fuck you up. <laughs> That's pretty much like the two, two different sides of the coin here. I'm either gonna fuck you or I'm gonna fuck you up. Uh, I understand what you're going through. My own life has been turned upside down not too long ago. Uh, okay, that one's actually like middle of the line, thank God. I am not in the habit of finding amusement at the expense of my people. Just remember to keep your emotions in check. I am afraid I must return to my duties. Oh, Jesus. I mean... Let's go a little, little hard. Let's go like three quarters chub on this one, you know? Uh, <laughs> not going in too hard. Let's just, uh... Words like that, Lord Captain, could easily be misconstrued. You should familiarize yourself with some of the works in your library to learn the appropriate manner of conversing with a lady. I don't know. This looks good, though. <laughs> You started a romance. Okay. Struggling to maintain an expression of polite indifference, Cassia covers her burning face when swiftly exit the room. A good day. Yeah, I bet that oh, he just fucking dematerializes. That's cool. Uh, can I look at everybody's stuff here? Go to character. She's dogmatic. Fuck. We don't have anyone else that's... Well, we have him. Oh, he's one level one dogmatic. Interesting. I would have assumed that they would be all in on one thing. You know? Like, she's in on one thing. She's in on one thing. She's dogmatic, which is weird because she doesn't seem like the dogmatic type. Belief that the holiness... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like for the emperor and all of mankind bullshit. This is for like human life and freedom. Yeah. Okay. And then the heretical is devotion to the corruption and the taint of the warp. Okay, cool. Puritan or fanatic? Weird that it goes that way. Oh, she's hella Puritan. You're a little fanatic. Not too much. I am dead center. I haven't had that many choices. I've only done the one, really. Or two? I don't remember. Okay. Oh, there's goods here. Why are these goods not in my ship? Oh. Seekers of gallant... Gallant conduct. How to express your feelings to a noble lady. Oh my god, she literally gave us the book. She's just like, you need to fucking read this book, bro. 
I ain't fucking with that. Okay, let's see. Anything else over here? These are my quarters, right? Aren't they? No. It, it, my quarters are up here, in here, right? No, that's the bridge. Is it over here? I don't remember. No, because that's where we came in when we were making our way to the bridge. I remember this map, but we'll see. Yes, I'm here. Lord Captain is here. Hello, have a good day. Let's go back to the map. Okay, back here we are. Continuing our way south. <laughs> Not that there's a fucking south in space. Uh, Lord Captain, sorry to disturb you. Vigdis pauses as if listening for to something. Uh, it's pandemonium outside the bridge gate. One of the officers seems to be demanding an audience with you in person. I think I hear Master Warsian's uh, voice. In any case, I wanted to warn you in advance. Okay, another thing popping up on the bridge. Dude, can't go anywhere with you people. Come on, I will turn this void ship around. <laughs> uh, the everyday sounds of the bridge are disrupted by voices raised in anger. Abelard's voice is the loudest of all. This is not the con conduct of an officer. These are the antics of highborn brat out on a lark. Explain yourself, Lieutenant. We gotta get this ship in a work in order, dude. We gotta fix this ship. Uh, the young woman standing before Abelard strives with all her might not to quail under the onslaught of her superior's anger. She falters, but then manages to look him in the eye and say, I, I apologize, sir, but I must speak with the Lord Captain. Very well, Lieutenant. You may address the Lord Captain, not least because I see you have already or have already seen fit to disrupt him, disturb him. Uh, your unauthorized appearance on the bridge is, and display of belligerence towards the high-ranking officer will be logged in your personal file without delay. Lord Captain, Lady Aravella, Avarilla Vent, Avarilla? Man, these names are tough. <laughs> Requesting permission to speak. Vent falls silent and then adds rashly on a matter of extreme importance and urgency. I will listen what you have to say, Lieutenant. Speak, you may speak, but I want to but I want to hear a report, not a shouting match. Having two officers bickering in full view of the bridge is unacceptable. Uh just go ahead and speak. This matter cannot wait any moment now. An assault unit will be dispatched to lower decks in orders to crush a worker strike by any means necessary. But I am convinced that this is step is unwarranted and that the crisis itself was provoked by the actions of one of the senior officers. Vent is almost trembling with tension as she delivers her speech, her face extremely pale. Abelard in no hurry to intervene Let's out a skeptical huff. Lord Captain, I urge you to investigate the actions of Seneschal Worsenary? Worsenarian? I don't know. Is that Abelard? Is that his last name? I don't even know. And intervene with what's happening on the lower decks. Because very soon, we will have mutiny or a massacre on our hands. Vent reels off the last words as though she knows them by heart she has clearly been preparing to say them for some time uh, when she's finished she casts an anxious glance at Abelard and at you there's an interesting make in the making aboard my ship and no one has informed me what is your last name Ab Abelard uh, it doesn't show me um, I would not deem it a problem worthy of the rogue trader's attention. The lower decks, as it so happens, are in revolt. Thirty-some years ago, we even had a revolutionary leader rise up and dared 
who dared to establish workers of rule across the entire ship. It took a month to restore order. But even eight years later, we are still battling rumors that a hero and had survived, that the hero had survived his execution and was on the verge of gathering people to fight against tyranny. Tyranny once more, Abelod scoffs. Needless to say, the rumors were baseless. As for the current situation, we have a sufficient enforcers to deal with it. But on this ship, the word of the Lord Captain carries more weight than the sal salvo from a hundred bolters. Oh, like the bolt gun game. <laughs> I'm sure that if the rogue trader addresses the malcontents directly, he will quell the unrest. I dread to think what problem you will disturb the rogue trader with next. Perhaps you will ask Lord Captain to break the brawls in the mess room. I, I have already given you the means to resolve this, resolve this problem. You simply need to use them. If I may, your lordship, sending a hit squad to crush a rebellion is a means of ignoring the problem, not solving it. Uh, how did all this start? The situation could boil over at any minute, so I'll give you the condensed version. It all began when the enforcers found a cultist amulet on the body of someone who'd been killed in a drunken brawl. Uh, we reported it up the chain immediately, uh, arranged for the cleansing rite to be performed and opened an investigation. No heretics have been found alive, but the search has brought tensions between enforcers and workers to a head. And where does Seneschal Wersarian come in to all this? I shall explain. I beg you to hurry. Time is running out. I will not hurry. Since my competence is under scrutiny, I shall speak as long as I see fit. There is an established order in the way we do things on this ship. Uh, and one of the pillars of that system is that the rogue trader's attention is not distracted by trivial matters. It is the Seneschal's role to ensure that. Oh, it's to ensure that. Uh, I have always handled intentional internal problems myself, so of course, when I received information about a cultist hiding among the lower decks, I took the matter in my own hands. Uh, so as long as I live... Not one of those vermin who murdered Theodora von Valencia will find refuge on her ship. You're far too heavy-handed, Seneschal. Arrests, interrogations, mass punishment for entire sectors. It has driven the people to the brink. Now there is a strike on the lower decks in Depot 4, and to be precise... Uh, three worker clans are involved, but many more are passively supporting them. The situation could degrade into an all-out insurrection, but when I reported my concerns, the only response I received was an order to dispatch an assault unit and crush the strikes with maximum force. Abelard, what do you have to say for all this? Uh, we know he's... He's dogmatic and iconoclast, which is weird that he's iconoclast, but he's like, just kill him, you know? <laughs> what do you have to say for this? I see no need to f add anything. I acted with the remit of my authority, guided exclusively by the best interests of the protectorate and your personal safety. If you wish to confirm the re restitude... Uh, of my actions for yourself, I have no objections. For my part, I urge Laura and Captain to go down to the lower deck, stop the assault unit, and speak directly to the people. You will see that they are not lying or harboring heretics. That way you will stop the uprising before it begins. What is Depot 4? Depot 4 is one of the poorest sectors on the lower decks. 
It is home to clans of general laborers. They are not as valuable to the ship as the families who have served its spe specialized systems for generations. They are an easy replaceable resource and one which one of which and one which is now more besides giving succor to cultists and minions of the arch enemy. Depot 4 is poor and troubled, but at worst, that means that drunken fights are illegal rut got, rut got gut brewing. Oh shit. We have handled the workers on Depot 4 in the past. We would have done it so again if the crackdown of Depot 4 hadn't been so harsh. And another important point to bear in mind, the problem is not limited to this sector. It is located on one of the most populated lower decks and everything that happens there has a knock-on effect on all the neighboring sectors. I've heard enough, I will go personally down there. I'm certain that he was with me, to say, but I will verify the soundings of his decision myself. I will personally go down there. Praise the Emperor. Thank you, Lord Captain. An enterprise bordering on so Sothiopic? Sophomatic? Mardic? I don't fucking know. But please yourself, Lord Captain. However, I categorize... Categorically insist <laughs> that I escort you. Okay, we're taking everybody. Down into the lower decks we go. Okay, hello everyone. Hey, it's the Seneschal. Yeah. Take that, scum. Just a fucking vial of acid. And you're okay with that? Abelard reflectively wipes the sweat from his brow in a startling human gesture and a telling one, a rare moment where he allows his age and wariness to show through his armor-like veneer and self-assurance. The lower decks are the source of endless problems. Sometimes I dearly regret that we cannot replace all the locals with servitors. Did you hear? They were shouting your name. People dare disrespect a senior officer? Uh, let's keep moving. We need to get to the bottom of this. They were saying your name, dude. Of course they were. The organization of the daily routine life of the ship rests upon my shoulders. The mountain of challenges and problems from which I endeavor to insulate you, Lord Captain. The situation on the lower decks has been a cause for concern, and I have intervened personally on more than one occasion. That must be why they remember me. They do not know you, my, your face. To tell them you are akin to a creature of legend. <laughs> no one has stood in the steps of the Golden Throne, no less. I am quite a bit of a legend. He's an absolute unit of a legend, dude. Whereas I am um, the man whose name is attached to every order docking ration and lowering of bay's heating. Let's keep moving it, get to the bottom of this. None shall stand in my way. All right. We, we are going to save this for next time. I think we will definitely get to the bottom of whatever this insurrection is down in the lower docks. But for now, we leave it there. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.